Hi, I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a HIIT workout, high intensity interval training with low impact moves. By using resistance, I'll be using some light dumbbells or you could grab a couple bottles of water. We're going to take low impact, joint safe moves and increase the intensity. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There is never a cost to subscribe and by subscribing, you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Let's go. Warm up, get ready to burn some fat and calories. Swing those arms, now bring those knees up, pull the abs tight. Tell the core to get ready to work. Good, now knees up and twist in front. Now bring the heels up and back, right here. Add your arms forward and back, activating that chest and back. The blood flowing to the entire body here. That's what we call dynamic stretching. And up and in. You want to move when you're stretching before a workout. Your muscles are cold. You want to get blood flowing. You don't want to be doing what we call static stretches where you're holding a pose. So it's going to pull on that muscle that's not warmed up. Just like pulling on a cold rubber band. It's not good rubber band might break. Same thing with the muscles. So, be careful. Now, I want you to grab your light weight or your water bottles. We're going to step out to your right. This is a side lunge. I will give you a modification if bending deep is difficult. We're going to side lunge up to a deadlift. So, here we go. Step out to the right. Side lunge, toe down, single legged deadlift right there. Or, step out, come in, and deadlift. So, Deep or not, and then flat back, down and up. Good. So there's a lot of muscles working. When your muscles are working, they need oxygen. That's what they want for fuel. So that is how we get our heart rate up without impact. Now we'll go on the other side. Step to your left. Over, come in, hinge forward, and up. If coming over on that toe, is causing any kind of balance issues, especially if you're just starting out, come up both feet on the ground, down and up, totally fine. Modify as you need to, to keep going, but protect your body. Ready for the other side, we have eight rounds. So, four on one side, four on the other, alternating. Here we go, step it out. In on the toe, weight is on the standing foot there. When you hinge forward, flat back, when you come up, squeeze the glutes. Get your bum by squeezing, just activating more muscles for better results. Good. Let's go to the other side. Back and forth. Not all of our exercises will be like this. We will most often have two different exercises we switch between. Here we go. modifications not so much of a bend in the knee and both feet down right here if you need to good and nice you want to see the clock there getting about four on each side each time deep breath get ready here we go so that's 16 reps you think about four rounds on each side it's a very good Starting point, especially with a compound move like this. We're working lots of muscles. And back to the other side. Whew. It was chilly in here, starting to warm up. That means the blood is flowing. Are you ready? Stepping out to your left. Here we go. Stay with me. And nice. All right. One more each side. Then we'll move on. Deep breath. Heart rate's getting right up in that low cardio zone. Here we go. 
So when you are in the low cardio zone, you're actually burning more fat percentage wise than if you were out running sprints. Now, of course, running sprints, you're gonna burn more calories overall. Sure, down and up. But you're only burning maybe 50% of those calories from fat calories. When you're doing the lower end cardio like we are, you're burning 70 to 80% fat calories over and up. So you still burn as many calories from fat as if you were out sprinting. I hope that makes sense. Total calories is a little less, but quality, calorie burning right here. We want to burn the fat, right? Good. All right, you have a 30 second rest. Moving on, we're going to start stepping out to a wide squat. So we'll step out to your right first, weights facing each other. Come down, oops, I'm sorry, that's a lunge. Down and up, and then we'll go the other side and up. Second exercise, we'll put one weight down. So we'll be putting down and picking up pretty, pretty extensively here in this round. All right, step out in a squat. Try to not do that lunge like I did. So weight is evenly distributed, both legs are bent and up. Sit back in this again. If you're not bending, just take that bend out. Still go through the, what we call the range of motion as best you can. At the top here, bring it way up. Feel the back activate right there. So we're putting one down and take one weight, put it behind your head. You're gonna push it up while we lift the leg, right side, here we go. Lift, down, lift, down. So I'm not using a lot of weight here, but I am lifting this over my head. Anytime you have your arms over your head, the heart has to work a little harder to pump that blood up. One more, good. All right, back to our wide squat overhead. Deep breath. Step out to your right, bending both knees, weight evenly distributed over the body, right there. So you're right in the middle, and up. Sit back, feel that weight in your heels right here. Come on up and squeeze. Up and squeeze the buns, not the weight. Hold your weight loosely. Good, all right, back to those overhead extensions with that leg raise on the side. Deep breath, feel it? I hope so, I feel it. Here we go, lift, lower. Now get, get some speed here. Don't throw your weight, hang on tight, but move. This is different than if you were lifting a heavier weight. Just wanna keep moving, keep the resistance. It was 105 after our last round, now I'm up at 130. So I am in my low cardio burning range. Here we go. So the way you figure that out, take the number 220, subtract, uh, subtract your age, multiply that number that, that you get by 0.65 and 0.85, and get two numbers. In between those two numbers is your cardio range. If you're above it, you're what we call anaerobic, you can't talk likely. And that's not really efficient for what we're trying to do with weight loss and fat burning. Here we go. Lift and lower. You wanna stay in that range. And if you're in the bottom half of that range, you're actually burning more fat, percentage wise, than you are at the high end. And rest, good. So let's say you're burning 100 calories and it takes you 20 minutes, low impact. Step out, here we go. 100 calories, 80% are fat. So 70 to 80%, so 80 calories are fat. Burn 100 calories in 10 minutes because you're sprinting or jogging at a good clip. 50%, so only 50 of those 100 calories are fat calories. So see the difference? We're still doing a time efficient workout while we're staying in a fat burning zone and protecting joints up and down. As I get older, I'm 58, 
don't know how that happened, <laughs> but I am. More and more, this low impact is appealing because I want to keep my joints for another 50 years. Another 58, that sounds good, right? Halfway through, get your breath, deep breath in and out. Oh, we're on rest, I'm sorry. Not paying any attention to the timer or the clock. All right, so we're gonna keep our light weight. We're gonna step and hook. So hook, hook. Arm stays at 90 degrees, weight faces the ground. Keep your torso twisting. Get ready, three, two, here we go. Hook it, hook. Now feel this, move. If the weight gets too heavy, put it down. Keep going with the move, okay? Here comes Jake to help. <laughs> ah. And rest, okay. Put the weight down. Okay, he's gonna go hang out. So stand with me, right like that. You're gonna kick back, then front. This is a kickboxing move. So kick back, kick front. Kick back, kick front. Now, high if you can. Lean out of the back kick. If the balance is an issue, you're gonna kick lower and lower, and lower, and lower, just like that. So, pick what level works for you. Good. All right, back to the hooks. Where's your heart rate? Mine's pounding. Get ready with your right arm. We'll hook right arm first. Twist, hook, hook. stance. Here we go. Kick, kick. Lean out of it, lean back. Lean forward and back. Abs are tight. That's going to help you with balance. this workout. So keep going with me. Grab some water. Keep hydrated. Our next move you can do with or without weight. If you're just starting out, you may need to put the weight down. But if you have water bottles or lightweight, give it a try with me. We're going to chair squat. So if knees are together, squat as we come up, make a V. All right? And we're going to move. Ready? Here we go. 
squat, press. Of course, if you're protecting those knees, just a little bend, just activate the muscle, push. But if you can get down here, I want you to sit back like you're sitting in a chair, down and up. Good. Back to one weight for this one. Toe taps back, straight arm, weight as high as you can, right there. And we're gonna go fast, here we go. Boom, boom, just like that. Abs tight, let's move. We're at the peak of the workout here. So we get our heart rate way up. Good. Every second weight. Chair squat press. Hold this up. Remember, slight bend if you're protecting those knees. Here we go. Press it. That's tight. Work them. your starting number. So if I was 20, my starting number to multiply by 0.65 and 0.85 would be much higher. But 58 years gets added in there or subtracted, really, right? Ready? Feet together, weight up. Here we go. Squat press. to do that pretty quick, right? Here we go. Squat and press. That's how this is a high intensity interval training. Intervals of the hard work, little intervals of rest. Make that heart go up and down. Good. Yeah, final one for this round and you are officially halfway done when we are through this. Whew, get ready. Here we go, right toe back, tap. It's getting heavy. It's amazing how a five pound weight can get heavy when you hold it far away from your body, like we are here. And good, take a rest. Whew. Moving on to curtsy lunges. We're gonna do a bicep curl between them. And we're gonna move pretty quickly. We're gonna take your right leg back into a deep curtsy if you can, or tap back. You're still gonna engage that glute. Come to the curl, other side, curl. Ready? Right leg back. Here we go. Those rests go quick. Curtsy and up. Curtsy, curl. Now, on the curl, I just noticed myself swinging my arms. Elbows in at the waist. Make the bicep do the work here. You want to get a little bicep work. Start swinging, you take it out of the bicep. Good, all right, so wide stance, toes towards me. We're gonna lunge side to side, uppercut. So like the hook, bent elbow, cut, cut. Here we go, side to side, come on. Feel this, less bend right here, hinge forward, still lean. 
Take that deeper bend out. Almost all exercises can be modified. Just think about taking the jump out and taking the bend out. All right, back to the curtsies with a girl. Deep breath. I love when I get to this point, I can really feel the burn coming. Elbows in, curtsy and up. I feel it right now. One more, I'm gonna finish the side. There we go, good. All right, step nice and wide, toes towards me. Hinge forward or bend as well. Here we go. Punch it up, punch it up. Good. And notice I'm looking down. If I were looking up at you, I'd be really bending my neck. You want to try and avoid that. So look out in front of your feet, two, three feet. Ready, here we go. So look out, look out. See how I'm doing that? I'm gonna look at you. But if you feel like you're bending that neck at all, maybe look down a little bit, keep your spine and your neck nice and aligned. Good. Ah, how are we doing? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Two more of these, side to side. Bent elbow, get ready, here we go. Little power, a little speed if you can. Good. All right, final time for those curtsy curls. I like this one. Which ones do you like? Leave me comments. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like, because I have those too. Here we go. Up with your curl. Protect your knees. Don't hit your knee with this weight. You're going to swing the weight back like you're swinging a suitcase or a briefcase. Back, bring it up, switch. And now, if you watch the weight with your eyes, it's going to get you a nice oblique twist. So let's go back to your right first in three seconds. Deep breath. Here we go. If you're not squatting, you're still right here. A little bend is good. You can do a little pop right there. But if you can, get low. Finish the other side. Good. With the one weight, we're going to skate. Right toe back, left toe back. The bigger you can make the arms and the bigger step you take, the more impact you're going to get right here. I should say more intensity. Avoiding impact, right? Those terms can be interchangeable in fitness, and they're really not. Impact and intensity, two different things. You can get intensity without impact. Good. All right. Ah, feet together. That's the highest heart rate I've got so far. Here we go. Swing it. Swing it back. Watch the weight. Keep your head up, though. Twist. Hands tight. Head above your heart. Back 
like your skaters. Right foot back first, so step into your left. Deep breath. Here we go. Step. Swing arms nice, big circle with those arms, half circle right there. Abs tight, you should feel them. You should feel them working on both these moves. Rest. Yeah, you know, I like this round. I like, love skaters. And I like these suitcase swings too. Deep breath. Get ready, here we go, swing it. Oh, the drooping's starting, the glistening. Like live classes, we call it glistening, not sweating. But let's be honest, it's sweating. And that's not a bad thing. Just means you're working hard. And rest good. Back to the skaters. How you feeling? You should feel good. Get ready. Here we go. Step and swing. Those arms. Just noticed I was like lifting my shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Swing the weight. Relax those shoulders. Don't bring them up here. I did that. So a lot of times when I'm giving you safety cues, it's because I'm correcting my form too. Feet together. Get ready. What happens is other body parts really want to jump in and help. That's kind of their job. But we want to isolate the move and not add something that's going to cause us neck pain later. And rest. Good. This is it. Skaters, we have two more rounds. Get ready. Deep breath, rest is coming after this. Here we go. Left crunch right there, crunch, crunch. And rest it. We're gonna to go to mountain climbers. If you have shoulder problems, you can do standing right here. So look here, you're gonna march and climb. We're gonna do bicycles on our back, twisting. If that is something that's troublesome for you, you can stand up and twist right here. And I'll, I'll review those one more time through the workout. But right now, mountain climbers, right there. Well, come on down right here. And plank. And take a knee up, other knee. One foot at the floor at all times. If you want to run these, go ahead. But this is low impact. We're going to do low impact. This is how we do low impact mountain climbers. You're going to get your heart rate up, don't worry. Now stay there on your back, or if you're standing, you're twisting, right? Like that, okay? And down on the mat with bicycle. Twist, twist. Ready? Here we go. Elbow. Stays wide. Think about shoulder to knee. That's going to get you a deeper twist in those abs. Shoulder to knee. You'll automatically want to lead with that elbow. Try and think about the shoulder coming off the mat. Ooh, that was a long 20 seconds, wasn't it? All right, back over to the mountain climbers. If you're standing, marching and climbing, I try to get my feet off my mat here because I tend to tear up my mats. So if you have that issue, try to bring your feet off the end of your mat. You're gonna have shreds of mat when you're done. And remember, if you're bicycling, you're gonna twist knee up if you're standing. Down here, shoulder to that knee. Ready, here we go, twist. Twist. Abs tight. You're just starting out and this gets super tiring. One foot on the ground, like that. It's gonna get you through this. But stay with us, okay? I want you to do these moves. This workout hits it all. Total body, including abs. Get ready for those mountain climbers. Standing or down here. 
Come on. Bring the heat. If you're dripping on your mat like I am. That's good. Feel the body working? What a wonderful thing. Bicycles again. Either standing on your mat, one foot on the floor, or both feet up. Here we go. Twist it up. Support your neck. Use your hands right there. Don't hold your head up with your hand with your neck. Hold it with your hands. Use the hands like they're a basket. And if your abs are burning, so are mine. But we're gonna do this anyways, right? Uh, one more of each of these. Get ready. So the last round, here we go. I like, this one is exercises that are challenging to me. I do them, but I don't love them. <laughs> but they work, so we do them. Come on. And finally, one more round of bicycles, whether you're standing or seated. Give me all you've got. Whew. Here we go. Twist it out. Twist and twist. 20 seconds. We get a rest. And one more round. That's it. Three more seconds. Stay with it. All the way to the end. Oh, okay. So we'll be staying down here for our next round. If getting on the floor is something that is something you can't do, and I understand there are challenges. So if you need to sit in a chair and lean back, you can do these moves, sitting in a chair and leaning back. So that's your option. I want you to keep working with us, okay? We're coming down, chest press with a leg up. Get ready. Whew. Push leg up. And this is lightweight. So we're going to move. Pull your back to the mat. Feel the abs contract. I want you to suck them in right there. Suck them in. Suck them in. Got to make them work. Push, push, push. Excellent. Right. Next one, either seated, leaning back in a chair or on your mat. We're going to open and close the arms. As the arms open, one leg goes out. Here we go. Out, in, out, in, or out, in, out, in. One foot on the floor. More advanced, right there. If you're in a chair, just upper body, okay? Just lean back. It's a nice flat back in that chair. That way you get some angle on the chest. Whew. Get ready, chest press. Leg up. Abs tight. Pull them in. Pull. Almost done with this workout. Come on. And rest. Back to those flies. Arms out and in. Kick the legs out. Keep a foot on the floor if you need to. Ready? Here we go. Out, in. I want you to move. We're not holding a lot of weight here. Move faster than if you were holding 8 or 10 or 12 pounds. Alright. You got two minutes of work left. That's it. Get ready to press. Deep breath. Here we go. Push it. Push it. Aim towards that toe. Pull the abs tight. You've got to pull them tight. Make them work. Otherwise, it's just your knee and your hip working. Pull the abs. Pull them. Alright, back to your flies. And kick outs if you're on the floor. One or two feet. Get ready. Here we go. Look up with your ceiling. Don't look down at your knees or your feet. Just that neck nice and 
nice and aligned with your spine, getting abs without talking that neck. Good. One more beach, one minute left. Deep breath. Ah. Here we go. Push it up. That was a long 20 seconds. They get longer and longer. They don't really, but they sure seem like it. Ah, all right, last one. Here it is. You are done. You've done, you've done a great job. This is challenging. Nothing. Don't have to be doing box jumps or you're going to hurt yourself to get a good workout. Add a little resistance. It makes a huge difference. There it is. Okay. Now, for those of us that are down on the mat, we are going to come up and we do a stretch standing up. I want this to be a workout that anyone can do. So if you need an all standing workout, I gave you modifications on those last two rounds. Come up slowly if you're coming up from the floor, right? Maybe your hair's a mess just like mine. Let's step to one side. Keep your head up here, leaning over, deep breath. Now head above your heart, reach across. Don't look down. That will bring your head below your heart and your heart rate is going right now. Be hard, I hope. We don't want to pump blood up into the brain. Other side, set it up, and reach across. Great job, proud of you, always, when we get to this point. And we did it together and we're dripping. <laughs> You can see, one toe up, get the back of the leg here. It's a great feeling. It's hard to start. You know, I almost didn't record this video today. I was, had a hard time. I started three times, messed it up three times, and I almost said, you know what, forget it. And I said, no, I need to work out. Let's just do it. So I did it. Glad I did. Always glad when you're done. Come on up, feet nice, plant boom. on the lower body, reach up and over. Feel the side of the body stretch here. Got a lot of abs hidden in that workout. And up and over, right from the beginning we did that deadlift. Core is working, abs and core. Good, clasp the hands behind your back and lift. Now, if you want a longer stretch, and I always recommend stretch longer if you have time. I know this was a full-length 40-minute workout, but if you have another 10 minutes, go over to the strength play stretch, sorry, stretch playlist and find, find the seven-minute stretch. Add it to your workout. Palms up, thumbs back, feel the bicep stretch here, stretching across the chest as well. Deep breaths. Good. All right, feet together, take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more time, deep breath in and exhale. Now give yourself a big thumbs up and a round of applause. You did it, good job. Please come back and join me often. Subscribe to the channel. We have workouts like this coming out every week, all different lengths. Have a wonderful day.